Hey, Hawaii Archer here. Uh, today I want to show you guys um, part two of my PVC pipe quiver build. Um, and again, I'm doing this in, I guess, would be considered uh, part time, real time, where it is I'm actually, or what I mean by that is I actually completed the, the project and I'm just kind of going to basically show you the project and go over what I've done and the reasonings between, um, behind why I've done certain things. So, that being said, this is a completed PVC pipe quiver. See, I've applied a pouch, a sling, and some window insulation foam here. And so let's let's get into let's break this thing down and I'll tell you step by step on what I've done. So after the first video of actually shaping this to the shape you wanted. I basically took it outside and found the pink color, pink scheme that I wanted to go with. Originally I planned on um, camouflaging this, but once I found the pouch that I wanted to put on this bag, it just kind of spoke for itself not to camouflage it for some reason, seeing that it is a, a nice OD green canvas pack, kind of matched the whole theme with it all. Oh. This pack I actually picked up from a garage sale for like, I think it was like 12, 13 cents or something like that. Uh, it's a, I believe it's an M16 magazine pouch. Um, it's the type with the side grenade holsters. One side ripped off, so I guess the guy was just getting rid of his old stuff. Picked that up and I figured, hey, it's gonna make a nice addition to my quiver. Kind of got that package idea off of my Vista um, side saddle quiver. Right here, let me see the pouch. And I realized that, you know what, if I'm going to be going into the bush or just basically target shooting or whatnot, I need a pouch to hold some stuff. And this actually fits my rangefinder very nicely. It goes right in there, and there's actually room to spare. So, that works out nice for that. Um, in that choke point on the, the previous video of right here, this, this choke point I made. I originally intended it for a um, a paracord lashing, which kind of would have been like that cobra braid that you see on YouTube. Ran out of paracord, I couldn't make it, so improvised. Um, I found this old rifle sling I had in my house, and I basically applied all the parts for the rifle that I would normally apply on a rifle to my quiver. So you can see that I have my pins built in here. basically just a screw with a hole in it and it hooks up to the the clip off of the, the rifle sling which makes it really good for easy detachment and whatnot the cool thing about having a rifle sling on this is I can utilize it utilize this quiver in the exact way I've actually foreseen me wanting to use it as far as me having it on my back and it actually zips up quick and easy or if I wanna wear it off my lower back pretty similar style to the side saddle Vista which would actually hang off my belt in this fashion you see it would hang in this way and if I wanted it on the side I gotta loosen that up and zip it back down and about the exact same thing as this. And the best part about it is if I really don't want to use this at all and I'm just shooting in the backyard and I want something to hold my arrows, zip that all the way down, the flat base, sits perfectly on the cement. So, it's basically three different I guess three different quivers all in one, I guess. You know, cause I believe they sell the ones strictly for your back, strictly for the side like this. And they sell those stand-up pods. So it's basically a three-in-one quiver. Um, okay, but that. Back to the pouch. I basically just attached it to, the, to my choke point off my quiver with four zip ties. Um, 
the reason I chose zip ties over actually um, tying it with rope is because I could get it tighter for one. And let's just say maybe I'm out doing whatever, hunting or on the range and I might need a zip tie. All I need to do is take a sharp object, pocket knife or whatnot, and prick this end in, push it, and zip ties come right off. Uh, okay, what else did I do here? Oh, I added five feet of camouflage and neon orange duct tape. Um, basically, that is just another secondary precaution on in case I'm out there hunting and let's say my arrow, you know, something happens to one of my fletching, I got some instant duct tape on here that I can take out with me. Um, what else did I do here? So that duct tape, yeah, oh, perfect here. The base of this sling is kind of like a two-part section. It holds in the bottom of this cap because I didn't glue this on now. Remember, I have um, insulation foam at the base of this, so when my arrow starts eating it up, I just basically take this off scoop it out and then refoam it. But the screw here, what I did was, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, I tapped the hole right through through this, through, through the cap and the pipe and attached it with the screw. That way this won't come off when I'm hunting or whatnot. So, uh, that's that. And there's one more thing I did to this thing. As you see the foam, Works great. I mean, these arrows ain't coming out. You can actually take all these out and then just drop it in for the whole shooting in the backyard thing. You know, and you can just pull it out, put it in, it's not a big deal. But there's another thing I did here with the. You can see that? This is um, window seal insulation or door frame insulation, the foam with sticky stuff on the side. I found some in my garage and I put it in basically for a noise damper just in case I'm, I'm moving out there hunting and this let's just say a branch catches one of these and they start rattling it, it doesn't make as much noise as it would be in this Here we got the here. when you don't put anything you know that helps a lot right there just that little bit of insulation tape right here, in fact it's right here it's called sponge rubber tape see that found that in my garage, put that in there, worked great and here we go, I don't know if you see in the deep in there I don't know if you can't really see it let's just show you the foam I have a flashlight around here, but So, you see, see all the, the styrofoam? So yeah, it's perfect. It holds all the arrows in nice and tight. They don't go nowhere. And that's pretty much it. That's the PVC pipe um, quiver. Works great. Uh, I hope to be using this. Hope to get some video footage of me actually using this um, in the near future. And I know you're probably going to ask me later on, what is this? Basically what happened is because it's such a thin piece of PVC pipe, I actually utilized um, a couple of Snapple caps, um, Snapple style, the plastic Snapple bottle caps, cut them out, made them flat, and drilled a hole and used that as a, as a base to screw my um, sling in. There's one more thing I wanted to show you on this. Oh, yeah, the reason I actually chose this pouch you know I had a couple of other pouches here and there that I wanted to throw on here but mainly because of these um, these grenade style this grenade um, holster here you know it, it kind of put an idea in my head is you know when I go camping or whatnot I like to bring a hatchet with me and let's say from that point I'm actually at, at camp and I want to go out and do a quick hunting stock before I come back and I just want to take my bare essentials you know keep my Salt thing in my bag, my salt hatchet. But the cool thing is now I don't need to pack my whole pack. I can just bring all my my arrows, my water, my pocket knife, my hunting knife, and my hatchet and my bowl. And the cool thing about these grenade pouches is you can stick it in there. 
and you can actually button you need a button and then and there you go it ain't going nowhere you know so if I want go on a hunt quick hunt from my camp it's right there have it you know I need it it's right there it's good to go well that's my part two of my PVC pipe quiver build I hope you enjoyed it um, you got any questions on anything that I can help you out with um, message me or leave it in the comments and just basically let me know what you think about it till next time